¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasó, YouTube? Hidden Gem, back for another video here. This will be like my third, yeah, this is my third SGC reveal. It's a quick one, it's, so I'm gonna call it the SGC Quickie Reveal. That'll be the title, that's the title. Uh, it's just quick, I had some, some few uh, football cards I wanted to send in before that $15 special ran out, so I grabbed a few. Uh, Ramos had some already of mine, so he sent some in for me. Uh, but by the time I get the ones that he's gonna ship to me, uh, um, there's no way I can wait that long for the box to be sealed up there. So I just wanna get this one open already, get it over with, plus I have uh, one slab in there belongs to Trucker Tim. He sent me his uh, one of his Dan Marino rookies to get slapped up. Uh, so I send it out with my order directly to SGC and mine already came back. I think Ramos got his uh, Ramos submission came back yesterday if I'm not mistaken. I think he received it yesterday. So so when those come in, I'll do a recap on those when those come in so you guys can see the, uh, the uh, grades on those. So let's get down to, to the nitty gritty. Without further ado, of course, so this is quick, as you can see, directly from SGC. That's their new suite number, 150. So if you guys are going to ship out and you haven't shipped out any directly to them for a while, they moved to a new suite, so just make a note of that. You know, they take this up pretty good. Oh, Should have got, my, should've got my knife on it. One second, folks. I'm going to use some good tape on this. It's looking really good. All right, here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not even in an SGC box. There's only, uh, there's only a few there. I think there's like four or five in here with trucker tins as well. So, uh, yeah, there they go. There we go. Oh, they fit. How many did they fit in in a small box? I was able to get. I think Ramos. Oh, there we go. At least we got the sticker. Sweetness. I love. Let me see if I can peel the sticker. I've been putting these up on my uh, on my door in my closet. They come because it comes quite off. Yeah, there you go. Just gotta be patient. And get a good. Good peel, so I use the stickers. There we go, nice. So able to save that one. Sweet. Well, you guys been following me, you already know I'm all about SGC all day, every day for the black tux. It's all I want in my collection. And once I start selling at the card shows, I'm probably gonna stand out like a sore thumb here because nobody's table, you don't see any black tuxedos. And when you do, Oh, the mat's getting a little dirty. I'm going to have to clean it up a little. When you do see some, it's like one or two in the case. But the rest are PSA and other, other grading companies. So, here it is. That's the invoice. So, I love the black rubber bands. been saving those as well. Recycle. We use those. So, uh, oh, look, the Damarino is the first one, Trucker Tim. There you go, directly from SGC to Hidden Gem. Save the invoice, got the sticker. All right, so let's get down to the reveal process here. It's gonna be a quickie, like I said, quickie. So let's get into it, done it, and let you guys go. So the first one is the Damarino rookie that Mr. Trucker Tim sent to me so I can send it out with mine. And his got a do 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 He's got a 6.5. These are pretty, these are really hard to grade. If you guys know about this Damarino rookie, very, very, uh, they're miscuts, a lot of miscuts, white dots. You'll see white dots from the printing here in the black, sometimes around here. There's white dots. This one's pretty clean, real nice surface. So I think it's a lot because of the miscut, big time miscut, off centering on that one. So 6.5, um, yeah, the corners look real, the corners look real, the bottom right corner's a little bit, 
soft. And let me, I'll keep, I'll put it back in your, in the uh, sleeve for you. I just wanna, I, I like looking at it without the sleeve because the sleeve sometimes can, can uh, misguide the eyes. So there we go. That looks so much better now. So yeah, very clean. You see there's a little white dot on top of the helmet from the printing. So this one only had a one white dot from the printing. So there you go. So it's the off-centering, the surface. Mine got a 7. Yours got a 6.5. So I'm pretty happy with mine. I hope you're happy with yours. And I'll be shipping this out to you in, with uh, some cards I have there saved up for you, trucker. So that's coming your way. So I'll put it back here. So for the eye appeal, there we go. Now let's get into mine. So I only did four. I got four squeezed in there for that special. I uh, wanted to get a J.J. Watt rookie. And I thought this one would do really well. So let's see how this one uh, did here. I can see the top, the top a little little fade there on the top. The corners are sharp. So let's see how this one did. And we got a, we got a nine. Okay, just as I thought, yeah. It's a little bit, the centering's a little bit off from the left to the right. But overall, it's a J.J. Watt rookie, future Hall of Famer. One of my favorite cards of his, holding the jury when he got drafted. Love those cards, the score draft, the score does these draft cards. So we got a nine on the J.J. Watt. Then... I send in a Jalen Hurts, which I picked up here locally. This from RH, RH's table. Picked this up a while back, a while back ago. But it's not a rookie, but it's uh, 2021. And it's a red, I think it was a red, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a red back. And it's numbered out of 299. 42 out of 299, and we got a 9 on it. Uh, yeah, the corners, the right corner on the top right corner is a little rough. A little soft, so that's probably what took away the 10. But other than that, I, nines are tens for me. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. Nine, uh, number to 299 on the Jalen Hurts, and it's a red. You see, it's a red back. I love Origins, man. They make some real nice cards, and it's a thicky card too, as you can see. So there's the Jalen Hurts. I send this. Uh, my so the pop the population is very. I think uh, the population is low. I gotta check. I should have checked before I did the video. But I know this one is a pop one. I know this one's a pop one before I send it in. Nobody had submitted this card. So I wanted to submit a Michael Irvin. It's a red, white, and blue prism from 2014. My favorite, one of my favorite, well, I say my top three favorite sets of football. Uh, to, but the boxes are so expensive. I, I, one day I want to give me a box of this and rip it, a box of this open. Because it has so many colors and it's beautiful. Beautiful cards. So let's see what we got on the Michael Irvin. Booyah. We got a 9.5 on the red, white, and blue. And I wanted to send this one in because it's America's team. They say, you know, Dallas Cowboys, America's team. And you got the USA colors, uh, American flag colors in the background, the red, white, and blue. Michael Irvin, Prism, Hall of Famer. Wow, bro. That's a beautiful card, man. Wow. Wow. Got to do things that make you happy, that make you smile. Look at that. What a beautiful card. The 9.5 and the last one for my PC, another another Mahomes. Okay, so these are case hits. Uh, prestige moments. Uh, they're supposed to be case hits. So I, I picked up one already slabbed up from uh, PWCC. Nobody bid on it, and I ended up winning the bid. As a matter of fact, let me bring that one out here real quick so I can give you guys a real quick uh, comparison. Sorry about that. I should have had it ready. But so this is the uh, 2018 Offensive Player of the Year when he won the award for Offensive Player of the Year. 
So this was at the NFL Honors. As you can see, it's a 2021. But these are cases, they're canvas. So that's probably what makes them tough to grade, is the canvas. But this one I already had bought it graded. It was already slapped up in a 9. So I found the other one, the brother card of this, from this set of Mahomes, because he won the MVP. So this one's the Offensive Player of the Year. So sorry, Marino. I'm going to take you down on that one. There we go. So this is the old school, old school, new school. So this one, let's move it over here, see what we got on this one. So this is the MVP one, also canvas, case hit. So let me take it off the sleeve. I hate these sleeves. I really do. They annoy me. I mean, I, I know it's to protect the, the, the plastic, but you can't really enjoy the actual slab with, with those things on. So here we go. Oh, man. Sorry, I revealed it. <laughs> it's a nine. We got a nine on it. This is the MVP. This is the brother card. Same night. Two awards. And he was there for this award. The last uh, NFL honors that just uh, happened last year, he wasn't there because he was at the Super Bowl. So he had to do it via camera, via, you know, live feed when he won, an award, won the award. So there's this one. So we both got nine. So we paired up nines on those. So let me put fix the stand. There we go. Look at that. Look at those two Mahomes. And my granddaughter, the day God takes me, the Lord, good Lord takes me, my granddaughter's going to have a nice little gold mine. Because by the time she grows up, uh, I asked them to take me at 83. That's my that's been my prayer request for her with the Lord to keep me here until I'm 83. So I have another 30, 34 years to go. So I, a lot can be done in 34 years left. So there we go. In 83, that was my high school jersey number. And it was Mark Clayton's jersey number, my all-time favorite football player. But now it's Mahomes, baby. Because Clayton's retired, which Clayton I still should be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. He has the numbers. So there you go, the Marks Brothers. But there you go, the pairs of Mahomes. Thank you for tuning in, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate a little subscription there, a little click, or a little thumbs up, too, on the video. Just uh, comment below on which one of all these short, uh, wasn't a man, that many slabs, but on this quickie reveal, which one, which of these cards you really like the most. And, uh, and you know, I reply to all my comments. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your football, preseason football games if you're an NFL fan. If not, enjoy the weekend. And remember, God does not see the worst in you. God does not see the best in you. God only sees you. Hidden Gem, over and out. Booyah.